Hello, we're here at the Symposium for Advanced Wound Care uh, in fall 2017 with Michael Sanders, CEO of Sastomed, uh, which in my opinion is the making the most innovative product since Negative Pressure launched in uh, the 1990s. And uh, Michael, thanks for joining us here. Oh, Rafael, thanks for setting the bar that high. <laughs> that's, that's great, but let's, let's be a little bit more modest. So we think it is all about oxygen in wound healing, and oxygen is one of the bottleneck factors in wound healing, and we just thought of how can we overcome this problem, because otherwise we only have hyperbaric chambers and another cumbersome device that came up, but um, we tried with a natural way. Okay, and what is the natural way? What's the mechanism of action of your product and what does it do? So we counterfeited the principle Mother Nature invented. So um, did you know that 600 liters of oxygen are consumed by, by every human, by every human adult on a daily basis? Okay. And how do you manage to get at it from your lungs where you breathe in and breathe out to the tip of your toe? Well, the arteries to the capillaries and back to the veins to yes, get rid of it. But in the arteries, we have a fantastic molecule. It's called hemoglobin. And this molecule is a fantastic transporter. It picks up oxygen in areas where there's much oxygen around, for example, in your lung when you mm -hmm. breathe in. And it releases oxygen in your muscles, in your brain, when you need oxygen. Mm -hmm. And we thought this could be a fantastic idea for our wound spray as well. If you spray it on, then it picks up oxygen on the outside, where we have 21% of oxygen. And then it dives down to the wound base and releases the oxygen because uh, the cells at the wound base require desperately oxygen because they're cut off the supply line by disturbances in their microcirculation. Okay, so how, of course, hyperbarics is breathing in pressurized oxygen and systemic, systemic delivery, but how is your product different from all of these topical things that, that they push oxygen on the wound or they have a little boot or a glove or a gel? How is that different? Yeah, the problem with oxygen is that it's the gas and it cannot permeate liquid that well. So in one liter of water you can permeate only or you can solute only nine milligram of oxygen. So obviously you have a lot of oxygen on the outside but it cannot make it the way through the wound exudate or to the interstitial space that is filled with liquid. So 99% of oxygen are blocked by a film that is as little as 0.1 millimeter. And so if you put more oxygen on the outside it might be that it's not only 1% but 1.5% that uh, reaches the wound base, but that doesn't make a big deal of difference. And so we thought of, we need a transporter, we need something that actively grabs the oxygen and brings it down where it's needed. There's not too much sense in increasing something that cannot permeate through. Okay, so unlike a lot of these other technologies that are taking oxygen from somewhere and trying to push them into the wound, you are transporting oxygen from the air into the wound in a more efficient way. Exactly, and that's a physiological way. So normally the hemoglobin fully packed with oxygen uh, passes by in, in, in your arteries and then the oxygen diffuses off the hemoglobin into the cells and we do exactly the same. We have the oxygen from the outside on the wound exudate and it's released and made available to the cells. Okay, so what are some of the other clinical or operational benefits of, of using your product over whether another oxygen product or some of these other advanced therapies that yeah. go on top of the wound topic. Well, that's quite an amazing story because when we started our exciting journey in April 2012, we started with, of course, generating data, not only in Germany or in Europe where the product was developed, but also in South America and in Asia. And uh, so far, we've treated more than 60,000 patients. And in the course of these, these patient reports, we found out, wow, there's something more happening than just accelerating the wound healing or reducing the wound size. We found out that it reduces significantly the slough level of wounds. And this is something that we can explain pretty well from a scientific perspective and it triggers the macrophagal activities, all these, let's say, um, diligent little cells that crack down every debris and biofilm and bacteria and all the other foreign substances and, and, and recycle them, require oxygen for their working. And so we could find out that after four weeks, most of the wounds treated with granulogs were totally slough free. And in addition, and that really took us by surprise, was the pain level dropped down significantly. Obviously, our, our experts, our scientific experts, do not have the full understanding of this exciting phenomenon, but we think it's fantastic that we improve the healing, we double the healing speed, we reduce the slough, and we reduce the pain level for the patient. That's amazing. So that, that's, those are really innovative points. Um, I know in the wound care center, of course, we want to speed up the healing and we track healing rate and average days to heal and metrics like that. But in terms of the productivity as well, 
the time spent needed to clean the wound or when the doctor or nurse comes in and the patient's not ready yet because someone needs to clean it, that can add one, th two, three, four, even five more patients a day were we to not have to deal with that issue. And I think the pain issue that you speak to is quite significant because most of the providers, especially here in the U.S., are not not anxious to prescribe narcotic painkillers because of the opioid addiction crisis in the U.S. and, mm -hmm. and other issues, as well as what it does to the, to, to the organs and the kidneys and, and, and so on and so forth. So it sounds like you might have a tool for not only healing, but those other factors as well. How is this received in the other markets in which you're launched? Oh, it's fantastic. So we started in Germany and um, both patients and doctors and caregivers love the product. The patients, of course, because it gives them an immediate relief. Consider when we're talking about wounds, we very often bring it down to wound sizes and wound closure rates, but a venous leg ulcer is the hell on earth for a patient mm. suffering from. And recently the Yuma published a paper investigating the enormous effects on life quality caused by an unstoppable and unbearable pain that is caused by a venous leg ulcer. So patients love it because after the application of granulogs, they perceive massive reduction in their pain sensation. Caregivers say, okay, great, I don't have to spend so much time on, on nasty debridement activities. And the caregivers um, have to report to the hospital administrations mm -hmm. and they see a, a significant cost reduction. This is why the product recently was put on the drug tariff in UK, so it's now fully reimbursed in the United Kingdom, just because it could show that it not only is a, is a very good tool for patients and caregivers, but also for the payers organizations. Wow, so that's a very high level of evidence that the UK, who has significant budget challenges, yeah. found that this is actually a cheaper way to heal wounds with an advanced product. They don't usually Absolutely. pay for those. Absolutely. Of course it's a challenge to let people understand that an adjunct therapy, we are not substituting any other therapy and we are not kicking some dressings or wound rinses out. Now it's that we have to, you have to rinse the wound, you spray granulogs and you put a dressing on top. So at first you have an initial spending that is required for granulogs, but over the accelerated healing you save roughly between 50 and 40 percent in the final end. Very interesting, very interesting. So how many countries are you in right now? You're not in the U.S. yet, but aside from that, about how many are you in? Oh, we've signed contract uh, distribution deals for 40 countries, and currently we have a regulatory approval in 31 countries in South America, in Europe, and now in Asia. And in Asia, it's, fun, it's perceived in a, in a quite exciting way. So we've seen case studies from uh, caregivers that we will present on next year's Yuma Congress in, in Krakow uh, that are really breathtaking. I haven't seen something like that before, and I'm quite sure you've seen a lot of cases, but um, I'm quite surprised uh, how you will respond to those cases once you once you've been presented them. Well, looking forward to it. We'll be there in Krakow. I do okay. mind. We'll definitely be in that session to, to see Great. them. So um, I'm very excited for this product to come to the U.S. It's, it's half of the market in the world, six to seven million chronic wounds at any given, at any given moment yeah. in time. Um, but it's really fascinating to me that such an innovative product has been so commercially successful. How many patients have you been using, using it on? Roughly 60,000. 60,000 yeah. already patients worldwide, not including the U.S. yet. Um, so that's really interesting. Looking forward to seeing that innovation come here as well as the continued growth overseas. So thank you for joining us, Michael. Thank you for the time, Rafael. Take care.